All right, let's practice finding slopes. So here's the first question. Let's find the slope of the line that passes through the point 2 comma negative 1 and 0 comma 5. Well, all we're going to do is we're going to subtract the y's and subtract the x's and take the quotient. So here we go. Slope, which is sometimes written, or almost always written, like m, is going to equal to. Now I'm going to take 5 minus negative 1. Now I'm going to write this out. I want you to watch this with me. 5 minus negative 1. You see how I took the y value here and the y value here and I'm subtracting. Divided by 0 minus 2. Now the reason why I want to take this a little bit slowly is because it's a very, very common mistake that a lot of people make. I want to show you the mistake and I hope that you'll never make it. A common mistake is to take the 5 and then subtract the negative 1 and then take the 2 minus 0. See, that person was sort of subtracting the wrong number from the wrong thing. We always have to be very consistent. We have to say which one's the first point, which one's the second point, and then we always take second minus the first, second minus the first. We have to be consistent. So it's really important. You'll notice here, if you just look at this piece, there's the x and the y that correspond to one point. There's the x and the y that corresponds to the other point. If you can't do that, that means that somehow you're subtracting the wrong way. So make sure you see the xy and the xy. All right, enough of that. So I see 5 minus negative 1, so that's 6, divided by negative 2. And so I see that this slope is negative 3. Neat. Let's try another one. Here I, I tell you that this is a table that represents um, a linear equation. So we're told that all we want to do is find the slope. If we want to do that, all we have to do is get two points. And we can pick any two points that we wish. So how about if I pick the point 1, 0 and the point right next to it, which is 3, 1. So the slope will be the change in y, so the rise, which is going to be uh, 1 minus 0 divided by 3 minus 1. Is this really correct? Let's check it out and see. That should be the x comma y for the second point. This should be the x comma y for the first point. It looks good. OK. And so what does this equal? Well, this equals 1 divided by 2. Let's try one last one, see if I can stump us. Look at this line. OK, so let's find the slope of this line. I guess I have to find two points on the line because I need two points. So I'll pick this point right here. That point is, well, x equals 3, y equals 0. And I'll pick this point right here. That's the point x equals 3, y equals 2. Let's run the slope game. So m equals, well, the change in y is going to be y minus this y value. The change in x is going to be 3 minus this y value. Are we OK? Let's just see. Is this the um, 3, 2? Yep, there's 3, 2. 3, 0? Yep, 3, 0. OK, we're OK. We're OK. But not for long, by the way. We're not OK for long, because look what happens here. This is going to equal 2 divided by 0. Uh-oh. Of course, you can't divide by 0. So in fact, this slope is undefined. And it turns out that every single, every single vertical line has an undefined slope. And why? Well, because the, the change in x, which is the denominator, is 0. And we can't divide by 0. So in fact, the equation for this line, you might recall, is just x equals, in this case, I see x is 3, so x equals 3. And so this has undefined slope. Very, very tricky. Vertical lines, undefined slope. Other than vertical lines, every other line has a slope. Enjoy finding them.